Hi guys, I'm Kasha. Welcome to the channel and welcome, as always, to our coffee times to discuss horror movies. And today I'm here with a review of an Amazon original film that came out last year. I think it did come out in December, so towards the very end of 2022, and that is Nanny. It's coffee time. So while I wait for new releases to be available to me over here, um, I decided to check out some of the movies that I missed from 2022, Nani being one of them. I'm also currently watching the Junji Ito uh, series on Netflix, as well as The Last of Us on HBO. So when I finish those, I will also probably talk about them in a video. I'm really excited for The Last of Us. Every Monday has been a blessing. I have loved both episodes. They were absolutely fantastic so i'll probably review that series as well but now let's talk about nanny an amazon original it is nikiatu yusu feature directorial debut and i was really excited to check this one out because the concept the premise sounds really interesting it did have a short uh, theater release i think in november but then it already entered amazon prime um on december 2022 so it is available for everybody now that has a subscription an african woman hopes her new job as a nanny will help bring her young son to the United States. However, when a violent presence begins to invade both her dreams and reality, it threatens to destroy everything she's fought for. We follow Aisha. She is a Senegalese immigrant that lives in New York City and she has been really struggling to get money every penny that she makes. It is something that she sends back home so that her friend can take care of her son. She was forced to leave him behind and her own focus on life right now is to make enough money to bring him to the United States to live with her. Aisha is chasing the American dream and she manages to get a really good job being the nanny of a really wealthy family. Um, so she only has to take care of their one daughter and it seems like an easy job and it pays quite well but there is a lot of weird things that are gonna start happening to Aisha. And as the story progresses we're going to realize that Aisha's dream of bringing her son to the United States and achieving that American dream is being threatened. So Aisha not only is trying to build a life for herself, she's trying to also secure a future for her son. Um, and in this movie, throughout the whole film, we see Aisha as somebody that is always struggling with some sense of loss and guilt. I love how she never loses sight of, you know, her purpose, her son, what she wants, her culture, she's all connected to all of those things and she's really struggling at some point to keep that focus on those things that she wants to achieve and things that she's trying to fight for. One of my complaints about the characters is that the director seems to be planting seeds here and there with different characters and none of those kind of like um, underlying stories are fully developed so they are kind of left unexplained. The whole movie is focused heavily on the topic of motherhood and mothers that are afraid and scared to fail their own kids. We have here two or three different mothers that are being introduced throughout the film that they all struggle to kind of, you know, not feel guilty and to not have that feeling of failing their kids. What I do love is that the director is infusing this film with a lot of things that are giving Aisha a lot of um, background you know with her culture and there's a lot of amazing shots as well involved with um, beliefs and myths of Aisha's culture. I also love about how deep we're going into that kind of nanny experience of somebody that is an immigrant in a country and even I for example when I moved to Germany for the very first time I had to take a job as a nanny because I was also struggling financially and I had to do whatever I could get and I did work as a nanny for some time um, and it's really interesting how that is really well being portrayed here as well in the film. Nanny is a very very slow burn for the first two uh, thirds of the film everything is kind of planting seeds for what's to come is kind of trying to 
frame everything and we are really expectant to see what's going on because at the very beginning it's all kind of showing a lot of things but we're not getting anywhere yet it does have a great style and there are many beautiful images the nanny is visually really pleasing there is a lot of attention paid to color for example aisha's home um and some of her memories are all kind of warm colors but when she's in this rich couple's apartment, the colors are all cold. So there is a big contrast there. And I also really love the use of water in this movie. It is a recurrent theme. There is a lot of use of water, drowning, the shower. The only problem is that at the beginning it was really effective, but I felt like at some point they overused it so much that it was no longer exciting or effective and it lost kind of the power that it had at the beginning. The problem is that there are many like time jumps and mood swings and characters that are not completely developed and it all kind of distracts you as a viewer from the main plot, which is Aisha's story and Aisha's um you know future american dream and fighting for her son that ends up at some point being buried so deep that i feel like the movie lost a little bit the focus when it comes to the horror now nanny has beautiful atmospheric music and i feel like they did a really good job with that i feel like this is a movie that didn't have such a bigger budget and you can kind of tell there's a couple of moments where they use CGI and those were a little bit, you know, not the best. But I feel like this movie was building up so much tension for so long and I didn't feel like I got the resolution that I wanted towards the end. I feel like the movie didn't commit to this surreal tone that the movie had and they really tried to make it a horror movie but also leaving most of the horror elements for the very last act is kind of risky because people want to see something and also a lot of things like i said repeat themselves a lot and that loses the impact that it had at the beginning and it makes you also kind of lose interest a little bit on the overall story so all in all i feel like this movie ended up being confusing um, for a lot of different reasons and it is a pity because I was really really invested at the very beginning I really love to see the West African folklore representation I wish I would have learned a lot more about it that we would have focused a lot more on Aisha and not in so many different little characters that didn't really lead, the, lead us anywhere at the end of the day and it almost felt like a drama story if it wasn't for all the elements of horror that they try to push into this movie like desperately at the end of the day i gave this movie a 2.5 out of 5. i feel like nanny is kind of a psychological horror that had many good ideas but they were not delivered in an effective way some of the ideas they had were really good but i felt like the way that they decided to go with the um storyline it kind of ended up being confusing and the horror elements were repetitive so at the end of the day when you were in the third act and everything should have been like escalating and surprising you you were seeing the same things that you had been seeing for like the whole film but i really did like you know some of the themes of the movie like the immigrant story coming to the united states struggling and how the american dream is not what people believe it to be it's not all you know flowers and happiness um i really love that and like i said some of the folklore that we got to learn from the film i thought was also really interesting the use of color the images there were so many good things but at the end of the day the film was not cohesive and it ended up being a slight disappointment for me Alright you guys, so this was my spoiler free review of Nanny, now streaming on Amazon Prime. Let me know down below if you watched the film, if you knew about it, because I haven't heard many people talking about it. And if you watched it, let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below. Thank you guys as always so much for watching, and I hope to see you all in the next Coffee Time. Bye!